Life, Death, and the Afterlife. This is a bonus short video with Pearl that didn't make it into the original cut, where Pearl shares her thoughts on these topics. In order to have a happy life, you have to understand death. Because a living person knows that it's going to end. And if you don't understand death, it spoils your life. It spoils your living. So in order to have a good understand, in order to have be, be satisfied in life and to be at peace, and you have to understand what death is. I, I hear you. I hear you. So we believe that life leads to death, but death leads to life. By meaning? The world to come. The afterlife. The afterlife, right. And it's real to us. Uh -huh. It's really real. And the afterlife is in heaven, a uh, 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 paradise. The afterlife is is um, is a dimension. The same way, let's say, an unborn baby is in the mother's stomach, in water, not breathing, right? And that child is very happy in there. And that child is can't visualize a life outside of that because that's a perfect place for it. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, there's an outside world and the child gets born and now the child cannot, the person who becomes from that child cannot visualize a different dimension than this world that we're living in. Mm -hmm. So the afterlife is a dimension that we can't understand. Just like the unborn baby can't understand living in the world, which is an improvement. From being in the womb. Yeah. This is also going to be an improvement, the afterlife. But such a, but such a great improvement that this, we can, but we do have knowledge. We do have knowledge that the afterworld, the after, afterlife is a world that exists and that is so beyond pleasurable that in this world we can't fathom it. Fathom it. I can't understand it because we don't have the experience. We just simply don't have the experience. Yeah. So now we know we're living, and it is necessary to live a good life. Okay? Hashem wants us to enjoy this world. Hashem, did you know that? Hashem wants us to enjoy this world? Yeah, you're allowed to have, take pleasure in the oil You should. You should. Uh, what we're getting is 10 times better, 100 times better, 1,000 times better, whatever. I have, I have an interesting story for you. You heard of Rabbi Shamsh Hirsh? Yeah, I've heard of him. Okay. So he was a very big tzaddik. And he lived in uh, Europe near the Alps. When he was an old man, he went to see the Alps. So they asked him, why, why are you going to the Alps now? You, you know, he says, what am I going to say when I come to the next world? And Hashem is going to tell me, Shamshin Rafool, did you see my beautiful Alps? That's why I'm coming to visit them. To, to I want to be able to tell Hashem. <laughs> they were beautiful. I saw them, you know. So what I'm trying to say is that yeah. this world is not a world of... Hashem wants us to, to, to... Take pleasure in it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I hear you. You, 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 you know how to take pleasure. Yes. That's yeah. your... It's, that's it's, your... It's, no, it's, it's what we're meant to do. Yeah, it is what yeah. we're meant to do. So let me... Let me um, I, I don't want to keep you so much more... If you have not yet watched my videos with Pearl, I very much encourage you to do so, or the tour of her home. I think it is well worth your time.